posted everything on YouTube. I actually had to go buy tires because I don't really keep 16s that often. Came with 55s when I bought it. Yeah. A screwdriver and a washer down there behind the seats. Yeah. Okay, I'll pick those up. Here we are at Flambro. We're about to go for tech here. Super nervous. Uh, hopefully everything passes. We're just gonna drive over there. Cassandra taking videos of me, like bully. Tech's right over there. Hopefully it goes pretty good. So we did it. We made it here. I am in group number four with my Acura, and uh, hopefully everything goes good. This is group three as of right now, but it's still an hour and 40 minutes until the race starts. Here you got some uh, Grand Dams, Impalas, Sabres, uh, I guess that's a <laughs> Mazda 3 apparently. So this is group 2. This is where you find a lot of your 4 cylinder cars that are 5 speed manuals. Like the Neons, that's an Integra, Hatchback Honda, another Acura, my buddy Dylan's Honda. As soon as it's like a four-cylinder, five-speed, or a bigger four-cylinder, that's an automatic. This is where it goes. Oh, that's an automatic. That's an automatic. But uh, they group it here by horsepower versus transmission and where they put you. So these are like the more common cars right here. And this is where group number two ends here. So this is group one. So I imagine almost all these cars here are four-cylinder automatics simple cages in these things super cool quite a good car count so far so let's get this race started here now about another hour and 20 minutes so nervous never done anything like this before can't wait to see what it turns out to be like sorry about the shaky camera I'm just walking around with it but there's no right and wrong way to do the cages apparently because everyone's doing their cages a lot differently so to each their own, right? As long as they fit within the rules, like look at the cross bracing in this one, holy. Pretty cool though. 